you dead. Got a special guest today. Another interview coming at y'all. We see all you sucker niggas trying to bite, but catch up, man. You already know that this shit stop. I am the fucking voice of this shit. And we got a special guest, my homegirl, brought some drinks, got everybody tipsy in this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get familiar. Who are you? Bleak. Bleak Love 86. Slushies by Leak. And what else they can find you? What's your Instagram? You can find me on Instagram at Leak Love 86. Um, Leak Love Slush Queen. Facebook, Slushies by Leak Love. Holy Williams. Go, go, go. What made you get into the game? How you get into this? Let's go into well, it. Well, um, the crazy shit about the slushies is it kind of like fell into my lap, honestly. Like, I didn't say I want to sell drinks. I made the drink. You know how you see pictures and stuff? Well, me as a female, I saw a picture. I was like, oh, the drink is nice. We make the drink, boom, boom. It actually looked like the drink, so I posted on social media, boom. I went a little viral, cool. so then someone I know kept reaching out to me saying you should come and sell drinks because they they did food. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Heavyweight Catering, you know Biscuit? Yeah, I'm part of Okay, them. shout out to Biscuit. So Biscuit was like, yo, you need to, you know, come through. I did the, you know, the food Saturday, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did that and it was smooth. So I was like, okay. So then we did something else and then I saw the bottles with the tap, you know, the tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sale at the top, so on. Yeah. I put slushies in those. That might work. You know what I mean? Did that. She kind of went viral. Like kind of like branding your joint, like slowly but surely. Right. Because um, at first it was kind of like just some quick money, like go outside the carnival, tournaments, anyway, Washington Park. There was people. That's actually how um, I met a few people. And they said pretty women can sell anything. No bullshit, yeah, like absolutely. anything. You know, um, there's a bunch of niggas gonna come in by just cause you sell. Just because, right. Real shit. And so, then they drink it and then it's good too, so it's like, okay. So do you just, um, I don't wanna ask you your recipe, but do you just do dark, you do white? No, dark, white. I always try to give options, cause obviously everybody has their preference of white or dark, so. Like just, let's just say I pre-make them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna always do some dark, I'm gonna always do some white, you know what I mean, so. But a lot of the time now, because people got spoiled, so let's just say I made like however many slushies I'm at an event, and then I run out, but I got the blender and I make it fresh. Right. So once they saw that, it was like, oh, I want it fresh. Right. So, so a lot of the time, like, if it's a really big event, I might just bring the whole slushy machine, because obviously, right. me blending right and I might have a line there, and it's like, that's crazy, so I do that, but... More now, I do a lot of fresh slushies or whatever, so I'm always gonna have the dark preference or the white. So I have like the little bar that I can kind of like spike it with, or they can have it infused with um, THC syrup. Oh, so you do do them different ways, like it's just not like you can catch yeah. one on with the THC. Mm -hmm. And do you do them just like slushies, just clothes, slushies, no nothing in them if somebody wanted one? Yeah, absolutely. So someone's like they want a virgin one. I believe it or not, I get a lot yeah, of people that have like I don't want it. Like, like I don't want nothing. I just want I'm thirsty. I just want to. You know, I'm smoking. I'm mouth dry. Whatever. Or for kids too. I've done kids parties as well. And did the slushy mm -hmm. too. Yeah, that's cool. And what made you do the the strawberry one? Yeah, that's the one I did. Yeah, that's the one I did. And what made you do the the straw? The straw. So, cause when I first started, you know, like you know, you might see a slushy now that has like this candy on there and that candy on it. But if a person doesn't drink it right away, it's gonna all like start dissolving and right. drink and it's kind of like, you know, like you get messy. Mm -hmm. So all the time I kind of learned like, all right, well, how can I still add the candy without putting without, it in the drink? Right, right. You know what I mean? So I started doing that, which is actually kind of like a signature because a lot of different people dope. started doing right. slushies. So when people see that, they're like, oh, I know, I know that's leak slushies because the straw. the straw. Oh yeah, that's dope, that's dope. You, um, I got to ask you, you brought it up. Um, you ran into other people that had slushies after you. Mm -hmm. How was that? I mean, I, I, you know, I, gotta I think that's smart. dope. I mean, <laughs> cause niggas be, I don't know what the fuck be wrong. It with really that. got crazy after COVID though. Oh, yeah, like, COVID had everybody, everybody had slushies. Business, business like, oh, man, but, but I'm, I'm only one person. I can't be everywhere. Everywhere, so it's like. And around that time, I was already doing events too, so it was kind of like, well, cool. Did okay. you ever um, feel like 
well damn why ain't you just holler at me you know what i'm saying and, well, no because like, they could have saw something day. somewhere else right they might it's, you know boss is small we do know I mean, a lot of us know each other but you right. can't really just assume like oh they know about my slushies whether they did or they, they probably could have washed my shit and said i'm gonna get money like that but everybody's just different everybody right, right. recipes different and people might watch they might whatever but you really can't duplicate what somebody's doing if it, they just, it's just it, how they do it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, how long you been doing them? Slushies going on like 10 years now. Uh, yeah. Man. And before man, the slushies, I was man. doing um, waist trainers. Like, that's what I actually sat down and said, I'm going to do that. Like, I'm about to get some money off of this because it was like real popular. I had bought a waist trainer from a girl. And then, like, I felt like she wasn't promoting it enough. Right. You know what I mean? I bought it, so every time I wore it, somebody's like, where you get that? I'm sending her, sending her. Hold on, I'm complaining. I should. Yeah, hold on, lady. Like, I get this money, it. I'm about to buy me something, bro. And that shit worked. <laughs> I swear, like, the first day I went outside, I kid you not, I had, like, a band in 30 minutes. Dope. 30 fucking minutes. Because oh, just think shit. about it, like, you order shit online, you gotta wait for it to come. Right. Then they gotta see if it fit. I'm pulling up on you, you can... Like, obviously it's the undergarment, you can't just be trying it on. Right. You can see you can it, you see can touch it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, why not? This and that's one of the things that I always mm-hmm. tell people I think about our community. Um, you can always get ahead of whoever if you have it to where niggas can touch and feel it and see it. It's right there and there. About you having it right there. It's a visual. Yeah, yeah, people like you know visual. Because mm-hmm. we hate. Oh, you gotta wait a week to see that shit. Then I don't like it or it don't fit. I gotta send it back. So when you got it, I noticed we buy right then and then. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely and that, dope. that works for me. So that's why it was easy too when I did the, the drink hold, the drink thing kind of fell on my lap because I already had that following from the from the waist. From the waist right there. So how was it like um going through those steps? Is it something the way it's like, damn, I can do this waist training just yo, let me get some more. Is it like, what is the, like, where do you draw from to start these things? You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, that happened. I figured out how I could find, like, I did my research, so I found, like, different people I can get wholesale from to make it make sense. Mm-hmm. Sadly, like, I kind of fell off on the promo with the, uh, with the waist trainers. I still have that page. Some people still hit me up. I had the problem, the last time I probably saw the waist trainer probably was, like, last year. And that, that's like 11 years right. ago that I started that. But some people still be hitting me up like, you still saw my drinks? And I'm going to make it work. But it's like I started doing so much. So I was doing drinks and I started doing the pop-ups. So it was just like... I wanted to know because a lot of people feel it's um, hard to draw to start business and I tell people you can wake up and start that shit. You can yeah. wake up, figure it out. Yo. Yeah, it's just about what's in high demand, honestly. You just got to figure out what works for you too though because you want to do something that you enjoy doing too, I guess at the same time. But if you find something that's in high demand, you really don't got to just kind of sell itself. True dude. You know what I'm saying? So the slushies, I didn't realize that, but then it was like, damn, this is, because like I said, it was first, it was like a hustle. I'm going outside, I went to Carnival, I'm going. But then when I see people, they're like, oh, you're the slushy girl. Right, I'm right. like, damn, I need to like make this for real. Like I need to like make this a business, like get a logo, like. Right. And that was like after two, three years of doing this shit, just running around. Like, you know what I mean? Then I started taking it serious, like, wait. First I was the waist trainer girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, I was right. like, oh, you're the slushy, like people, I don't know. I've been in the like, oh, you're the slushy girl. And I always say that because I feel, oh shit, to have 10 businesses under your belt and eight fill, you still have more knowledge in these fields yeah, than a lot of people. Yeah, because you shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I tell people, just try that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the only thing worse is you fail. And you never know. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a hustler, you can put hustle into anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can hustle any, I don't give a fuck what it is. If you're a real hustler, anything. you can find a way to make anything, anything fucking work. And, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, how did you get into like the pop-ups and shit like that? So the pop-ups, <laughs> that just happened, to, okay, so that happened to be a conversation I had with someone, actually Kisses People's, um, would, I was backstage with these niggas at a show, we're talking, Lace had like a strain release, this was like, 2000, the end of 2018, 
Locks had a show at um, House of Blues. So they had a string release, they had locks there, so I guess they went there. Right. In my mind, I'm like, I know them, I'm not going there because I don't, I'm not going in to smoke with them, I can go to the show, you know what I mean? So right. I didn't know what it was, you get what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. But it was going on in Cali, it was already going on in um, New York. So boom, so we're sitting there and I'm talking to the dude from Lace and his girl and she's talking about the slushies and they're talking about the event, how nice it was. And it was like, yo, you should do that. You do, you got the slushies, you should throw, you, why are you ain't doing that in Boston? Who's doing that in New York or Boston? They doing it in Boston? I'm like, no. He's like, you should do that. You know, we have kids come, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if he knew how serious I was going to take it when he said it. So right, then right. I'm like, he's like, just find a venue. I'm like, oh yeah. Week later, I'm like, yo, I got a venue. We need a date. Yeah. What's going on? We need a date. Because I already, I've been a vendor because I was already doing the drinks. So I already right. kind of had the concept.
like, what the fuck? They just had the woman can't come out. No, I get it, but he <laughs> called it. You know what I'm saying? So the slushy page, I get it, because I'm not like all over that, and I get it, like, no, but a I, lot of us are tunnel vision. We see, like, even when I learned what fly is with tunnel vision. But now that's what I was like, asking. What time to start? Bro, I just sent you the fly field. How do you um, navigate the room, men and that shit? Like, just, from men I, trying to get at you? Or they something? don't, because, or, like, with the vendors, most of, majority, 90, some of them are bold. You know what I'm saying? They'll say some slick shit, but most of them, they don't, because how they meet me is kind of like, with the business part, they don't even want to go past that part. Right, right. Because they're like, this girl said this, then, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. She's cool. It's either respect me. Obviously, they respect me, too. So it's right. kind of like, I might as well go ahead. I'm not saying I don't, I'm, I know men. I'm not saying ain't nobody looking or whatever. Right, right. Nobody's really just, because one way, I'm not going to do that anyway. That's not going to work. It can't work. You can be cute all you want. You can be blinged out. You can be, have the big, big bag, all the weed. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But. It's not, I just know how one thing she says real, and that's what I was explaining last night. We was having a conversation, but men are very sexist. And we look at women in a way like, damn, she doing that? We only see two things, either how the fuck can I finagle her out of it, or how can I get with her to get some bread with her? We don't look at, damn, she doing her thing, yo, that's what's up, and being able to congratulate, and I tell dudes, we gotta do more of that, especially when it's white women right. that's trying to pay the way and get through this shit, mm-hmm. because you know, they dealing with that shit from every way, you know right. what I'm saying? And it's not everybody, because I do got people that I've been dealing with since day one, and right. it's all love, and they fuck with me, and I fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? But. How is I it, see it a lot. How is it having a business and going through that part where you gotta let people go? Because me go. having this I mean, podcast, I found that kind of hard. It, it does be hard. It, 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 it can be hard. Because bring a lot of friends around. Yeah. It'd be a lot of just people that got love for it. But when they see it moving, they, they might not always work out how you feel like it's gonna move out. Yeah, you're right. And they and, I built this shit out. with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and then when you tell them the truth, it's like it's fucked they up. Can't handle you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I be really looking at that. You know, that was one of my hardest things of having people be a part of it and then not fucking with them no more. And like, damn, should I feel and that's bad? That's even happened with vendors and people that I might have had helping me or was around, and it happens right. because we can't stop what we got going on. So if whatever happened. Obviously, it was something that happened that right. we... And I learned, that's a part of being a boss. You gotta know how to hire motherfuckers and fire motherfuckers. Period. Being a boss, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not gonna be cool. And one thing I learned when you come into business the way we do, if you come in with friends, you're gonna lose a bunch yeah, of Yeah, and even when you meet people and you, you it becomes personal, it's like hard to even meet somebody and like have a personal a personal relationship with them like outside of that because then they get it confused. They do Thinking that they can have different phases and shit like that and it's like mm-hmm. we're gonna like, treat yo, this how it's been going on. Yeah, like <laughs> or know, one of the can I pay you the <laughs> day of the day? Like no. Just cause I call we cool now this everything still need to go how it gotta go. You should respect that because this is a business. Everything's moving how it's moving for all of us. Not even just for me. Right. It's for everybody. It's right. for all of right. us. So it's like, if you don't respect that, then what you, you know, like, what am I supposed to do with that? I gotta keep it moving. Oh, that's dope, man. I know you said, um, you got an event coming up in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Something big you're doing. Um, is that the first one you did out of the city? No. Um, as far as this stream was, because it's a themed event, so it's like, I had a lot of pop-ups, but this one's like a theme, you know, it's the themed event, what we're doing as far as this train and it's a minute. But the only, uh, they've actually all been out of town, I guess, quote unquote, because they've never been in Boston. So I guess Rhode Island, New York. So I guess as far as getting on the plane with this one, yeah, but I've had one in Tampa before, last, two years ago, now. And I had one in Atlanta as well. That's dope. And but not the strain wars. That was um called actually the one in Tampa was Shop and Blow. And that's something I started when I started implementing other vendors other than just cannabis vendors, like whether you had hair or sneakers or toys or whatever. 
right, right. And you know, just, just the, you I mix just up everything, right. right? That's when I started like making it about everybody else. So that's why I call it shopping world. Well, you right. can actually come and you know get a little bit of this and get a little bit of that. So. Um, so when you have a pop up shop, tell me what that consists of. Different vendors. Um, obviously, I might have some entertainment like performances or contests, raffles, giveaways, food. You know, so. People want to come and shop, but you also want to, I like to make sure everyone's also entertained as well, too. Came and chill, dude. So, this one, what is this one? Just what, um, cannabis? What, the strain was? Yeah. So, the strain was is pretty much different I'm, I'm vendors. Like, I'm, I'm, I really don't know. So, it was called strain war, <clears throat> excuse me, strain wars versus, right? Like, I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar, that's why I said I wanted to bring up, um, a flyer because I, I actually what that shit made was. that logo because you know how they have the verses with the different songs you know different artists they right. go against yep. each other yep. or whatever like that so I kind of used that logo and then the WWF logo and then an S let me show you I think I've seen that shit too yeah so I actually made that logo you know what I mean so but what it represents is different vendors coming together. Everybody always say they got the best this and they got that and I got my own strain and he got his own strain and everybody got the strains and blah, blah, blah. Right. So it's like a competition. But I have different celebrities come to actually smoke these strains and tell us who they think has the best strain. So when people, when you get the people, those come judge, um, they try like whatever strains that's there and then it's like, yo, it's the best strain. Right. And what is it like, a prize to what? Yeah, the I best give them like a champion belt. So I get a customized belt, like kind of like a wrestling belt. That's what it's like. Oh shit, shit, yeah, bullshit, yeah, 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 y
I went to Miami in December, the first week for, um, I went to High Tom and some shit in Miami. But like I said, at the last one, on the mic, I told everybody we was going out the country or we was going somewhere warm. So, um, did I think they was listening? No. But the next day, the next few days, I had messages like, oh, Leek, when's the next one? When's the warm, when's the warm one? Early. I was like, and what a better place than Miami to So, play. in my mind, I'm like, okay, boom, I go to they shit, and I already know what type of time it is, like, certain towns in Miami that where it's popping with the pop-up shit, so I'm like, I'm gonna have to do Miami. So, I kind of all fell into place, and another been there, and be like, oh, yeah, I told you about this spot. I have my people that I got a spot. I'm like, but he's like, ain't you going, you in Miami, right? I'm like, yeah, he was like, yeah, for it. I was like, so that was another duck in a row, like, okay. I guess it's supposed to be Miami. So do you go in, once you're like, all right, cool, Miami, you fly down, check the Yeah, place. I was down, and that's, I already kind of had that in my mind with the warm shit, so right. when I went there to support, I kind of, boom, then I met one of the dudes that's my host right now. I met him while I was down there. Like, it just was just like, so I was yeah, like, okay, I'm gonna fuck with Miami. Like, when it makes sense to me, or it keeps like, with the venue alone, because it's hard to, that's the hardest yeah, part about it's throwing it's an event, like right. finding a venue that you could do what you came to do and it's straight and, you know what I'm saying, like, so, I was like, okay, that works. What's the, what would you say be the hardest part about what you do? Um, everything. Doing it by myself, I think I'm used to, I am used to it, but just probably the anxiety of feeling like, How's it gonna go? With how's I'm gonna do it or whatever, but it always works out. It, it always works out, and you know we're gonna always have our bumps in the road. But that's to oh, me, it's I'm like it's just gonna that. always make me stronger. I just, I kind of just, I'm upset about the fact that I don't have a team a little bit because I'm like, it would be so much easier. bigger. Not even just easier, just so much bigger, easier right. to be here, there, and everywhere. And I've had help where I could be here and somebody helped me over there, but like really how I want to do how I want to do. So I know that'll come. Are you anal about like you want the shit the way you want it? Like if somebody else is doing one, you doing something else. But do you want it the way you want it or are you able to respect it the way they did it? Do as far as what though? Like anything, say like just the setup. Are you, nah, I want this head. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I f I'm always a person that's gonna speak my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But I'm fair to someone else's opinion so let's just say I'm like I want to like this and they like well let's see how it looks like this if that way it kind of look cool I'll fuck with it you know what I'm saying right. but if not then it's like well bitch I am that right that ain't like oh whoever that let's do it like this I'm absolutely because you you know people got different visions when people are going to always see shit that you can't see sometimes so right, it's like right. especially when you're doing this and that and that's why it is hard because as much as I don't be feeling like oh it's a lot. When I go back and think about it, I'm like, yeah, my house is not fucking good. And I have a habit of putting, I have a big imagining, I have a big like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to fucking do that. I think that's all. And then once I open my mouth, it. right? But once I open my mouth about it, I have to do that. Do you get what I'm saying? That's so it might not be, it might be a little stressful, but that's why I'm like, I have to do this. like. That's why I, I ended up asking you about the anal shit because most So I'm, yeah, most I am very anal about certain like things. That. And maybe that's, I almost say that's why I don't have a, time, a team, but that's probably why it's hard to choose certain people because they have to be some type of passionate how you, or they have to be like, you can't just have somebody around you that's just, that's just, doing, just, it just because. doing it just because. It's think, not gonna work. No, nah, I can tell. Um, and that's what made me ask you because it's like you have that creative brain. Most creators, brains is big as shit. They see the biggest shit when they thinking about doing something, even if it's small. I'm gonna see it this big. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do you this. I'm gonna do what right. the fuck I'm trying to do all of this. And once you say, I'm gonna do it, then you have no choice but to stand on it and fucking do it. You know That's why we went to Miami, because I told them it was gonna be somewhere warm. We couldn't wait anywhere else right. for the next one. I but it's cold now, so it's like, it makes sense. I really wanted to go out the country, honestly, but realistically, and I said that on a video like, I know y'all like how we gonna do that, but. Oh yeah, didn't you say um, you did one on the cruise? 
No, I didn't do one on the cruise. Oh, yeah, I went on the cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah, that part, everybody thinks this one comes up is a boat on the fly. And I'm like, no, I have a yacht party. That's It's a three-day weekend. So that after the train was that Sunday, I had a yacht party. That's just supposed to vibe out, chill, you know, relax. Kind of like, you know. And what you said, that's the day before the day after? That's the day after. So you basically got like a little itinerary. Yeah, so over. Friday we're going to do like a meet and greet. Whoever chooses to come to the spot that I chose. Saturday we do the stream wars. I'm still unsure about after, but you know. Like, right, like what's going on. If we're going to do that, we'll, you know what we may do. But then Sunday, definitely the our party for people that don't leave. But that's kind of like exclusive and limited too. So that's not for everybody because I don't know who. I might end up being able to have on the end. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So it's like we can't just all be on the end. Too crazy on the end. Like it's, you know, got to be exclusive. Yeah. So when you domed, is it like a um, security thing? Because I see you oh. having like Nori and them next. Yeah, so, absolutely. I have a whole, I, I make sure I have top flight security. Like for me, that's the most important security. Everybody, because. Everybody has to be safe. And I also have like a diverse crowd. And that's also why I have my shit where you need to take a little ride. It can't be too accessible. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, because, right. and no disrespect to everybody, but I don't need everybody. I don't need anybody want not want to see everybody that can yeah, walk yeah. down the street and get there that way and come if they needed to drive. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. If you know what I mean? So, yeah. Like you might see some niggas you know. You definitely gonna see some people you know. And then you're gonna see Smojo you ain't never seen before too, because a lot of my vendors are from like Connecticut, New York. I have different growers, so you're definitely gonna meet some bunch of Caucasians up and you definitely gonna see some Caucasians in there too. Some Spanish, some white, some black. It's always a mixed crowd, you know what I'm saying? So and everybody's high, so it's like the ratio of problems and obviously I pray over that, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't wanna be responsible, I don't want no problems, but it's like everybody's hot. I think um, that's like one of my things about events. Every time I event, the only thing I want is nobody to get hurt. I want everybody to make it home Absolutely. to their family. Like I tell people that that's the one thing about it. That's event. very important. I just important. want everybody to come, have fun, go the fuck home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to see nobody lose their life or get hurt at my shit home. What would you tell a young girl trying to be an entrepreneur? Um, I would definitely tell them to definitely just keep whatever it is that they're doing or that they that they chose to do as an entrepreneur to keep driving. Like it gets hard. It is hard, especially if you're not working. Like I, you know, honestly, I'm in a med. I went to school. I worked. I'm in a medical field. Right. You know what I'm saying, but prior to COVID, even though that kind of made me like, oh, I guess I could never go back to work because I don't do the vaccination thing. Right. So. Prior to that, it's like that worked for me, but this was working for me. So once you know, once you start getting in your groove, you don't really want to work for anyone else. But I would recommend that they just keep doing what they got to do, and, but enjoy what they do, because that's what ha that's the only thing that's gonna make it work. When you are entrepreneur, like it's easy to hustle some shit, get some quick money or whatever. But right. when you enjoy it, the money's just easy. It's just it's easy like you, you really. Really enjoying like this shit. Yeah, and I think um, me and him was on the phone one of the I think last night we was kicking it, but I told him like yo we gotta keep the fun in this shit. You can't make this shit like if it's work. Once it's work then it kills the you know what I'm saying? It gotta be yeah. fun to come in, it talk shit right. to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So definitely um I see you be fucking with mom's heavy. Yeah, that's my nigga, that's like I met him when I first started selling that's why I, I was about to say earlier, like I was at um, Washington Park one day. Like I said, I was at everything, basketball tournaments, uh, carnival, Cause I just see you everywhere, everywhere with, with the cooler, cooler. Every with the cooler. Any, everywhere, everywhere. But there's people, we just pulling yeah, up I remember cooler. you was like, niggas ain't buying no drinks, I'm out of here. Yeah. Pack that motherfucking cooler yeah, up and got missing after that, after that hour. No bullshit. No. You was the fuck out of there. For real, for real, so. And I met him when I at, was at Washington Park. And that was like when I first started selling slushies. So I know mom was like 10 years now. And that's why I was talking shit to him. He was like, oh, when I said the manager shit, because he was like, you knew, you know, kids, you knew we doing this, and you didn't even do that. Mm -hmm. You didn't even say that. I said, all right, what's going on? Let's do this. Because I know this is going on over here. You ready? Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things. Because if you ready, like. Let's do it. And that's one of the reasons why I asked you, because I was going to ask you, who do you like coming from 
Boston, Massachusetts, and the music. Mm-hmm. So obviously, Mom's exit. Um, shout out exit fan. Shout out the exit fan. You know. Him all coming up. Mark Brown. Um, Zip. What's her name? Zip the dude. We had Shay Vans. I like her Bands shit too. Nice. Um, man, I'm so mean. I don't want to forget anybody. There's somebody else. There's a few more. There's a whole bunch. A lot of them. Everybody. This. What's so fucked up? Is that Boston is so talented, y'all. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it's like right people now. come here and they be like, damn. But the problem is, us here, nobody wants to support each other or it's only supporting when it's relevant to support or because your friend's going or that seems like the cool thing to do because oh, when you, at first you wasn't going. Wow. Or, or when this artist is there or the person you might want to meet, now they're there. Like, come on. I. You know how many events I have? Well, I know people coming in that don't care for me. I don't care because I'm on my, I'm just, I'm just business. I'm business you know what I'm right. saying? So you could not like me. You could roll your eyes. You could suck your teeth. All of that. I'm cool. I'm still be like, hey. Because, uh-huh. hey. And you I know tell what I'm saying? That and that's in cool. Business, you still speak. Yeah, that's fine. That's so, but everything is like some follow the leadership. And it's not cool because it's like, if we don't fuck with each other other people other people see that like other places they might go through whatever they go through but they support each other no, i tell people that shit all the time like that's, that's one of the up. things is we don't support each other like everybody only support like you said when it's them a part of something it's just not you know, when it's out. and that's why i tell people people be like yo this motherfucker be coming out be like yo these are all the people that just come through and support so i had no choice but to show love back because niggas just show love a lot of these niggas like, I ain't just speak the month, I'm just going through. And I tell niggas that, like, a lot of niggas just, y'all up there, I'm coming through here. You know what I'm saying? So, with me, i always been one of them dudes, like, I know what it takes, so I try to support everybody's shit that I deal with. If I really deal with you, I'm going to come through and fuck with your shit. You know right, what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I feel like you said, um, seeing you having a business, it seemed like you even in tune with the music. You damn near name everybody nice from the city. You know what I'm saying? Usually you ask my for they be like, yo, who be rapping again? Um, so it's definitely good to see you on Yeah, and then you know, show. anybody that's gonna come out and perform too, because you know I have performances at my shit. Like, even right now, like, um, Fame, just from him performing at my shit, like, him and Kiss is like, and yeah, that, I can't say that, so. that, that really don't got nothing to do with me. Obviously it was the platform, we right. had no Kiss, but that was his talent, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So. You know, so it's just certain shit. So it's like when people chase their shit too. Like some people get discouraged because they feel like people ain't supporting them. But it's like that's why people leave the city to go other places Mark, to get, get the support. support is different. Uh-huh. The support is different. I, just, oh, I, I know. I'm like that shit is crazy. But you just can't like, take it personal. My, I just I stop taking it personal. I'm like whatever because. That's on you. That's if you don't want to be there or you don't want to support me. Because you really want to support me. really do. That's the whole thing. But you. So you really love me. You get what I'm saying? Right. So it's like. You know what I'm saying? And you can be a part of it. And I tell people. Because I'm here to help everybody. Listen, if we can give. If you got something going on, I'm I'm for it. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. You want to perform. You want to. You got shoes. You got whatever. And how do dudes reach out to you that want to get in tune with you and to perform at some of your gyms? Well, usually they'll hit me up online, but they can just hit me up at my um, on my social media, um, Leek Love 86 or Leek Williams on Facebook or Slushies by Leek. But they'll hit me up or they'll see something and they ask, you know, they inquire about slots and stuff like that. And I always tell them it's, it's a good opportunity because never mind the guest that's going to be in the building, you don't know who else is going to be in the building as well. You get what I'm saying? It's not, never mind the person that's, the guest that's, coming as a guest, whoever that is. It's just about who... And I forgot who I was just telling that shit on last week. I said, yo, Mums is one of the only dudes that just pop up. Like, it don't matter who's all in the building. You up, them up there. Nigga just there. If a nigga be like, yo, Mom, get on the stage. Fuck it, I'm a, I don't remember this shit too tough, but I'm going to spit this shit. And I told him, that's dope, because you don't know who you're going to meet there. You don't know who you just going to bump into. You know what I'm saying? Right. And a lot of things like people don't understand is that yeah you know Jada but you can't make Jada like a motherfucker no you know what I'm saying if you and my whole thing with that like, like it's like I could put you in a space but I'm not introducing I'm not doing any of that because when you meet somebody you should always want your own impression anyway that's just 
how that should always go because it's like that person's gonna remember you from oh such and such introduced me to the well, you know what I'm saying it's like with with your confidence in yourself so it's like I don't do that I tell people don't even introduce me like I don't like being introduced because I like a motherfucker to know me for me I don't like a person to know me from you or you know right. what I'm saying and I don't think when dudes is trying to get to that level they understand that like ah bro I can't introduce you you can come through right. and then from there this shit's organic it's up to you absolutely to, you know what I'm if you if you about what you what you came here to do and no and you don't gotta be chasing you don't gotta be a group none of that, none that. Right. like you said it's organic because you're gonna do what you came to do because dudes be asking me that shit all the time yo bro you can introduce nah I can't introduce you bro nigga like yeah, you can come through and if a nigga is through then that shit's on you, but I, you'd rather meet a nigga like that than meet a... He really, if he Yeah, do, because that person's gonna me. already look at you like, okay, well, you already bringing this person, oh, they are, it's right. just not gonna it work, because you you're already making a middleman when it should be a, 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 a me and you right, conversation, right. you get what I'm saying? Whatever you're presenting to that person, or whatever it is that you want to talk about. So I, I manage, I will, right now we had a pause, but I was managing my niece, and I, as many pe different people that I have access to, I'm not like, oh, my niece, oh, I told you, no, you come, you show your talent, you do what you're supposed to do, wow. and then we go from there. Go from you there. have to make your own, you gotta, you gotta put that in place yourself. I think, that's just um, how that's supposed to go. For that's why I think artist development need to come back, like, dudes developing into artists, because it's a lot of them things they don't know, and, a motherfucker would be mad at you thinking you was really supposed to introduce him to Jada. Or because even if you were like, yo, what up? Because, you know, they walked up and you, yo, what up? That's boom, 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 boom. From there, you're supposed to be lying. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. niggas be really wanting you to, oh, nah, check his, yo, let me see your phone. So oh, you can yeah, hear no, it. I'm not doing that shit. And I'm not going to ever start doing no shit like that. Because it's just like, no. Like a lot, but I know this you these rappers, I mean? they hit you with that shit, especially the young ones, like, Yo, such and such be out there. Hey, yo, you could put me in the car. Why the fuck I'm gonna put you in the car with the nigga? No, I'm not doing none of that. You could nicely get you a, yourself a slot, come show your talent. Oh, and I tell and, dudes if your talent is lit, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do, then it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. I'll be like, Whether yo, the the artist, artist is the coming out there, he's gonna do this, this side, way. Whoever. Come on. And after times, a couple niggas start seeing, I tell niggas that, like, niggas know other niggas, it took niggas to see niggas. Damn, these niggas come out a lot and just show love. Oh, damn, what up, bro? Okay, I'll be built one on one. You know what I'm saying? You gotta build them yourself. You can't expect a nigga to do your work for you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel a lot of Boston rappers expect shit to be done in a way for them when it's like that ain't the way the game works. Or oh, like, oh, damn, you came up, you didn't bring, niggas don't be coming back and cut. What the fuck? What? What am I supposed to come well, How can, can, like, I'm, I'm all on. I'm sorry. It don't work like that. Like, everybody, you know. But Tell that's me, it. I that's... got older calls. Like, niggas hit me, oh, fuck with the mission niggas. I mean, no, mission niggas come show up. My nigga, I can't, nigga, that shit's genuine. Of course I fuck with niggas that's genuine. I can't say where niggas be from, you know what I'm saying? But if you a real nigga, then I fuck with you. I don't give a fuck where you from. You know what I'm saying? Especially if we could show love to each other, support each other, and then somebody try to find it to get bread with each other, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about, all of us having some shit going on. And then she was like, yo, y'all come down. I don't expect her to hold me down, but I'm moving with my part. I'm moving, running down on the yo, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to put your own work in. Um, before I let you get up out of here, that was something I was gonna ask you too, because I heard you say it on, um, you think about going into management? I mean, like I said, I was managing my niece. We did a few things. She actually got to perform in front of Davies, like probably like two years ago. He actually That's liked her. But you know, as an artist, you gotta let different artists kind of feel, and she's younger too, so she kind of needs time to like do what she needs to do. But she, I feel like right now she's probably building back up her momentum to, you know, get back on what she's supposed to do. So her, that's why I said to her, like, you know, I've been dedicating myself to you. At the same time, that's a lot, putting that on my plate with everything I got going on. Do I think I can do it with somebody who is really serious about what they're doing? Absolutely, because somebody that I feel like could use that to kind of like, I would take the time to do something like that. Cause it's like, I think I work in, I think I, 
force myself to work good in the budget sometimes. So I was like, asking, you know, we think about, um, you know, putting together something like that, but I was thinking about something big on a big scale, like a management company of like 10 motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So everybody ain't like individually, yeah. just, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, we can move, push these motherfuckers as we all move, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but definitely something the way it wouldn't require a bunch of time from one individual, you know what I'm saying? So if you have 10 people, you have 10 people that can bust it down, you know what I'm saying? But now nah, that's dope. I like what you got going on. You already know what it is. We got love for you over here. Anytime you want to come up, say some shit, just talk some shit, you already know you got the open door policy. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is come through. I do want to get you up here for a podcast. You know what I'm saying? So we can just hear you talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I come and be like a cook. I don't know how I'm going to come. Yeah, we need you to come talk your shit. That's because he had me talking shit to everybody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need you to come talk that shit. Behind the scenes. That's what niggas be up here. Like I'm about to do when I leave here because who's that? Because she was talking shit. I'm telling you, before the cameras came on, she was on niggas back, nigga. Niggas, yeah, y'all be trying to believe me. Especially mom's back. Yeah, man, with them boots. I'm about to take his boots, man. Mm -hmm. Mom's got some it's crazy Tim's on in the building, too. He got them splash joints on. They get real slushy. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was clutch. That was clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you already know, Boston yeah. Crab, you can find me, look me up. This shit stop all platforms where they can find you at. Leak Love 86. Leak Love Slush Queen on IG and Leak Love 86. And Slushy by Leak on Facebook and Leak Williams on Facebook. And if you want TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. And you got anything else you want to tell them? Yeah, we're going to get out here for some Oh, podcasts. yeah, February 19th, pop off for the Stream Wars send off, man. If you can't make it to Miami, at least come out for the anniversary. You know, pop out, let's do that. Let's do that. And, um, but if you can catch and a flight, gonna have the flights it. just went down. Y'all need to check the the y'all need to check Hopper, because Hopper they, be trying to tell y'all. You see it, she's get having it in the building, so Go to Miami, know. February 25th, Noriega, what, what, what? But niggas is on. Um, Little C's. Niggas is on some background shit. Like, yo, you got performing. You got performing the 19th before we go off. Oh, yeah, Mums is in the building on the 19th. Huh? You about to come in the building with the slushy Tims on this. Well, what you got ready for niggas, man? I got a couple of things. Just... Oh, it's going down. Yeah, you know? Yo, this nigga called me, cussed me out, nigga, for like two days straight. Bro, you gotta take this shit down. Oh, I don't yeah, like recycling yeah, yeah. shit, bro, man. Yeah. Listen, nigga, I'll come through the night and spit some shit for you, nigga. Yeah. No bullshit. Mums is on my Why? shit for like two days, this? nigga. Yeah. Real G shit Hi, though, but you already know, man. We up out of here. We more back at y'all with more. Yeah,